असलम टू ऑल माई व्यूवर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आज हम लोग स्टार्ट करने जा रहे हैं लेग्जेक्टिव का टॉपिक यानी कि हम लोग स्टार्ट करेंगे जी आई टी सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ द लेग्जेक्टिव फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वी वी सी द बल्क फॉर्मर्स बल्क फॉर्मर्स आर दोज लेग्जेक्टिव डेट फॉर्म द बल्क इन द स्टूल एंड देट विल कॉज द ईजी मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्टूल थ्रू द इंडस्टाइन सो फर्स्ट वी सी Bulk former in the bulk formers methyl cellulose, which is which comes under the name brand name of the citrus cell. It is one of the brand name, but uh, there may be other brand names. But I have written the most commonly used brand names which are available in the market. So uh, the methyl cellulose first comes with methyl cellulose, which comes under the name of the citrus cell. Then uh, uh, isoferol, uh, which is also known as xylem, it comes uh, under the brand name of metamucil, conxyl, or fibral. Then comes the uh, bran. Uh, and calcium poly carbophil and uh, the other one is the v dextron which comes under the name of the bany fiber in the market so these were the bulk former now comes toward the stool softeners stool softeners as the name indicate they soften the stool which cause the easy movement of the stool through the intestine so uh, in this class where there are the two drugs that are most commonly used first is the docusate which is uh, uh, known as em emollient or the surfactant there are the two forms of the docusate docusate sodium and docusate calcium docusate sodium comes under the name of the collase and the docusate calcium comes under the name of the cow pectate the other one that uh, the other one drug that is in the class of the stool stool softener is the mineral oil mineral oil may be the different oils that can that can be soft that can soften the stool and they comes under the category of the lubricant like they act as a lubricant okay now comes toward the uh, st uh, stimulant like zeptives the two classes uh, one is the anthraquinone glycoside uh, in this class uh, uh, there exist three drugs uh there comes to three drugs aloe vera sena which is, comes under the name of the senocot and the third one is the cascara these are the um, herbal drugs uh, they are not uh, like pharmaceutically prepared aloe vera can be used simply herbally uh, in the home as a home remedy but sena comes under the pharmaceutical form from pharmaceutical preparation senocot the other class uh, which act as a stimulant laxatives is known as a diphenyl methane methane derivatives diphenyl methane derivatives and in this class the drug that comes in this class is the bisacodyl we will discuss some very important point in the about the bisacodyl in the next uh, lecture when we discuss all of these in the detail now uh, the other class is the calcium uh, chloride channel activator the chloride channel in the chloride channel activator we will discuss two drugs lubiprostone and linaclotide they they activate the chloride channel and you know as you know all uh, as i have discussed in the diuretic lectures that the uh, water follows the electrolytes water follows the electrolyte and when the chloride chloride channel activated the what uh, it will release in the colon and the water will move in the colon so this in the, by this way the stool gets softened so it can easily pass through the intestine so there are the two drugs lubiprostone and linaclotide lubiprostone focus on this name this is the proston so uh, i will discuss more things about this word uh, which what is which category does it belongs to lubiprostone and uh, if you have guessed this category so uh, mention in the comment that you have guessed this class okay so then comes toward the uh, osmotic laxative in osmotic laxative we have the two classes hyperosmolar and saline laxatives in the hyperosmolars we will study the glycerin that comes under the name of the fleet glycerin suppositories and feed pedalax and the other one is the polyethylene glycol 3350 it comes under the name of the miralax we will dis all discuss all this drug and the reference will be from the cpr comprehensive pharmacy review Uh, i have uh, already told you so that you will come with the prepared mind that we will discuss the main mechanisms and the doses that can you can give in the that you can give to the patients and uh, we will discuss more many things about the first line who is the first line who is the second line mm, drug uh, now the other class is the saline laxative in the saline laxative these are the saline laxatives are the non absorbable sugar and the salts in this class uh, we have many drugs magnesium hydroxide sorbitol and lactulose lactulose is very important drug it is uh, 
given as a OTC uh, uh, and uh, the brand name is the Dufalac. Dufalac syrup is very important and uh, many pharmacists and the physicians recommend this syrup for the treatment of the uh, constipation. The other uh, drugs that uh, we have in this class is the magnesium citrate, cal uh, sodium phosphate and sodium picosulfate that comes under the name of the Lexobiron. Lexobiron is also a very important drug uh, which is used for the treatment of the acute and the chronic constipation. Uh, mostly for the chronic constipation uh, which is ir uh, which is not responding any drug like uh, so we will give sodium uh, picosulfate to treat this type of the constipation the other uh, class that we have is the opioid receptor antagonist are the alvimopam and the methylnaltrexone as we all know that the opioid specifically morphine causes the constipation so opioids uh, causes uh, it is a main side effect of the all the opioid drugs that it causes the constipation and so, so it is uh, very clear that the antagonist opioid receptor antagonist will treat the constipation so the true drugs that we have in this class is the are the alvimopam and the methylnaltrexone so this is this just the classification of the laxative we will discuss more about these all of these drugs and the which drugs are preferable for the children for the expecting ladies and the geriatrics so in the next lecture so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to get the notification about uh, my next video for the until next video, Allah Hafiz.